behold, the internal combustion engine. But where did it come from? Meet Nicholas Otto, born in Germany in 1832. Nicholas wasn't the star of his high school. In fact, he dropped out at the age of 16 and worked in a series of different industries. When he was a traveling salesman, Nicholas caught wind of a coal gas engine invented by the French Etienne Lenoir. Although it was the first working internal combustion engine, Lenoir's design had a lot of problems. First of all, gas was expensive at the time. Second, the engine was relatively inefficient and required a lot of water for cooling purposes. Yet, Nicholas saw potential in the concept. First, Nicholas built a two-stroke engine that ran on liquid gas and used a carburetor. In 1876, Nicholas went on to build a four-stroke engine. Here's how it works. First, the engine mixes fuel with air in the intake phase. Second, it compresses the mixture and then combusts it with a spark. The engine expels exhaust in the last stage. Through this four-stage cycle, the engine uses a series of small explosions to convert fuel into energy. These designs have become the basis for most other internal combustion engines, and within 10 years of its invention, over 30,000 of the engines were sold.